You're a disrespectful little f That's what you are. This Buffalo police lieutenant was suspended in June, all for a profane tirade on a woman in a convenience store parking lot. Well, now Lieutenant Michael DeLong is looking for a new position in the Buffalo Police Department. Not behind a desk or any other job away from the public, he wants to head up the Special Victims Unit, where the victims are mostly women, or transfer to the Police Academy to teach new recruits the lessons he's learned over his 20-year career. That career includes 36 complaints of misconduct, leading to five suspensions. Prior to his trouble this summer, DeLong was last suspended in November 2018, 30 days without pay for an off-duty domestic incident. Mike DeLong has demonstrated on camera that his temperament may not be suited for either of those details, whether it be the SVU or training up new officers. If you think DeLong's disciplinary record would mitigate against him getting the jobs he wants, one dealing with traumatized women, the other teaching young cops right from wrong, well, think again. Seniority, yeah. right, seniority would be paramount. Uh, this, I'm going to say this department's based on it or this union is based on uh, seniority. Seniority is a practice enshrined in the police union's contract with the city. It means the officer with the most years on the force gets whatever job he's putting in for. Disciplinary history doesn't matter. Neither does the opinion of the police commissioner. Seniority trumps all. And right now, as of last week, DeLong is the most senior officer on the transfer list for the jobs he's put in for. The transfer list is updated monthly. Right now, neither position DeLong wants is open. When they do come open, it is possible, even likely, that another officer with more seniority will put in for the jobs, and he'll be out of luck. But if there were a vacancy over the next month, say in the Special Victims Unit, the job would be his, because that's how the police contract works. Seniority is, on its face, not bad. But when we don't take into account their discipline records, when we don't look at what they have done in the community, we're failing the people. A police department spokesman declined to comment, and DeLong could not be reached. But John Evans, the police union president, defended DeLong. He stretched those uh, 36 incidents out over a 19-year career, or almost 20 now. Um, that's, uh, compare that to the number of arrests he's had and the actual number of interactions he's had. Right now, DeLong is suspended with pay while the department investigates his conduct this past June. For Channel 2 News, I'm Jeff Kelly with Investigative Post.